So here we have the international Edexcel C3, C, uh, C3-4 paper of June 2015, question 11. First part is definitely quite standard, um, what I call the R method. We're basically using the fact that these two are equivalent. So if we expand the R sine theta minus alpha, we get R sine theta cos alpha minus R cos theta sine alpha. Um, but that's also going to be the same as our thing that we're actually comparing it to, which is the 1.5 sine theta minus the 1.2 cos theta from above. I'm just rubbing out here from that one now. Okay, now just bring up the blue pen here quickly just to show how it works. There's basically, if they're equivalent, they've got to be the same for all values. So that must mean that our R cos alpha has got to be equal to 1.5 and our R sine alpha has got to be equal to 1.2. So here we go. Let's work with that. To return to red. Um, right, so we've got R cos alpha equals 1.5 and R sine alpha equals 1.2. Squaring and adding, you can think of it as Pythagoras or, or using the identity cos squared plus sine squared equals 1. We could quickly get to r squared is equal to 1.5 squared plus 1.2 squared. When we work the exact value out of that, just basically work out the square root of that, that gives us that r equals to the square root of 3 to the square root of 41 over 10. That we would accept the exact answer here. Um, it's worth writing both, to be honest. If we give that answer to two significant, uh, three significant figures, it's 1.92. Okay. Now, to find the alpha, uh, the alpha part of this, we can just divide, and dividing them, we can see that quickly it gets us tan alpha sine over cos, using that identity, sine over cos is tan, it's 1.2 over 1.5. And that quickly gets us to alpha. If we work out the inverse sign, the arc sign of that, that quickly gets us to alpha equals to 0 0.6. Let's work it out. 0 0.675 to three significant figures. I've stored the exact number on the calculator, which is 67474 7, and so on so that I may use it later, but I can it's okay to write the answer here to three, six, actually to ask for three decimal places, so that is quite uh, quite important. But I'm still going to use the exact one in any later part of the question, even though it said ask for three decimal places here. Now, let's go on to part B. Part B was misunderstood by a number of people on the ones I've just seen. I've just marked. Um, it, let's write it because obviously we we're going to use part a I'm going to use part a to actually write it in a slightly more convenient way um, using this for this r this form here this r sine theta minus alpha form um, obviously it's slightly different we've got a three at the front but the numbers here the 1.2 and the, uh, the 1.5 and the 1.2 are the same Okay, so they're, they're the same. So the value of R at the front is going to be the same. I'll write the exact value here. 3 of 4, uh, 10. And then that is um, sine. No, it's not theta now, of course. Our theta now is being replaced by pi over 6t minus 
the value of alpha, which I'm going to quote to three decimal places, but as I keep repeating, I've got the number stored handily in my calculator. Uh, so I need to work with it so I don't I get an accurate answer at the end. Right, now a lot of people misunderstood this because we want the minimum value. Now the minimum value of this function is going to occur when, let me just highlight this in a different colour, when this is equal to minus 1. So basically the things go in, the functions going up and down like this. We, the minimum value will occur down there. So when the sine bit of the function takes the least it can be, which of course is equal to minus 1. Right, so that's going to occur when, and that, so it'll occur when this is minus 1. So, let's work with that. Now, when that's minus 1, we can say, let's just write this, h min equals to 3 minus 3 the square root of 41 over 10. And if you work that out handily on your calculator, you'll get that's 10.29. I think four significant figures is probably okay. I'm going to quote it to 3 as well, just in case. 10.3 and that's the answer for the h min now hey the time when this occurs is when as i kept saying is the sine of pi over 6 t minus 0 0.675 equal to minus 1 now you might use the calculator on this but really you shouldn't need to the sine reaches its minimum value it's first time, it, the principal value of it is 3 pi by 2. The, the first one is a negative, of course. Okay, so, but, but the first time it actually re reaches the value yeah, is 3 pi by 2, um, beyond the value 0. It's not the principal value, the principal value is the other one. But that means that we solve in pxt minus 0 0.675 is equal to 3 pi by 2. Right, now solving that, I'll leave you to do uh, the little fiddling around, adding 6.75 times it by 6, dividing by pi. You will get to the answer of, oh, sorry, this answer here, is 1.08 for those of you who have copied the wrong answer down. And this answer here for t, if you do all the maths here, is equal to 10.29, and I'll quote to 10.3 as well. Um, just, oh no, it's asked for two decimal places, so we better give two decimal places 10.29. Okay, so that's part B done. Not too bad. Um, actually, most people had a better stab at part C, which was a little bit more involved and uh, a little bit longer. However, there is, a, there is a slight wrinkle in it because it says times. It's going to happen more than once. It's above four meters. Basically, we've got a function that's doing, um, doing something like this over time. It's oscillating around a value of 0 point uh, of 3 and we want the times when it's going to be above at uh, 4. It's going to happen twice. Quite a few other reasonable stuff are getting this one. Fewer actually appreciated it's going to happen a second time. So let's get on with it. Right now the <laughs> we're basically solving this equation. 4 is equal to 3 Again, let's write the and let's write the uh, full thing down. That when we fiddle around with it and uh, you know, do a bit of reorganisation, uh, that comes to sine pi by 6 t 
minus 0 0.675. I'm going to do 4 minus 3, then find the reciprocal. That ends up as 10 over 3, the square root of 41. Right, now, if I find the inverse sine of that, inverse sine of this amount here, I'm getting an answer to three significant figures of 0 0.548. But I'm going to write, I'm going to, so again, I'm going to store that number in the calculator so that I've got a final, nice, accurate answer. So that equals to 0.54, and lots of other stuff. Let's write it like that. Solving that, again, I'll leave you to do that. Solving that gives us T is equal to 2.33 not exactly but it's as close uh, it's correct to three significant figures but it wants the time to the nearest minute um, so you can give the time to the nearest minute it does say that uh, it's number of days after midday so I suppose that to be safe let's give the actual time of the day and if you do that you'll get the time that corresponds to a time of 2.20 p.m. or 2.20 uh, p.m. is one of the times. But as I say, a lot of people missed out the second time that this occurs. Okay, it's going to, ha it's going to also occur at pi minus this value. Because if you look at the sine function, this isn't the function of the actual thing. I'm just looking at the basic graph of sine x here. If we've got one solution alpha here, we have another one of 180 minus alpha here. So it's a, it's a good thing to know. I know a lot of people use cast diagrams and things, but it's a good thing to know some basic stuff like that. So we can then solve pi we can solve pi over 6t minus 0.675, which I keep saying I have got stored on the calculator, is equal to pi minus 0.547 dot 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 dot. Okay, now I'll leave you to solve all that, but it shouldn't, again, make sure you take away the thing, be careful with it and all the rest of it. But if you do that, You'll get a, you'll get an accurate answer, and if you don't, make sure you use non-rounded answers. Store them on your calculator. T is equal to six point two four. Okay, but of course we've got to uh, convert that to a time in in mi in minutes, and let's give it a time of day. So the time for that is equal to six. 15 p.m. That's the other time. And say, and that is the one that most people used. If you want to use cast diagram or whatever, you can. Uh, but you just need to appreciate that there's more than one solution here. Okay, right, that's it.